Howdy folks, how are we doing today? Today we're doing another chat and draw. Uh, this time I want to go over a future project that I had in mind for the channel. Uh, it's something that's <laughs> it's, it's something that's very different from what I would typically do. Uh, even though I'm only 20, 20 or so vi videos in, um, it's a project I've been looking to do and it's something I've been putting off for <laughs> a very long time. It's uh, I'm going to be doing a live play tabletop game on this channel uh doing it with some friends uh it won't be DD, &D, although that will probably be another project later uh this drawing is going to be the title <laughs> i probably should have mentioned this first but um it, it's going to be this drawing is going to be making a title for the game that we're going to be playing. Uh, we're going to be playing the seventh edition of call of cthulhu which i'm so excited for I've never played Call of Cthulhu before, and from what I know of it is, um, just by listening to it, seeing people play it, is that it's a lot less heroic than 5th edition or Pathfinder 2e or other games similar to those. It's... you're not trying to win, per se. I, I mean, winning is definitely part of it, <laughs> but uh, the, mo the biggest part of Call of Cthulhu is that you're just trying to survive against terrifying, insane threats. Um, I'm so excited to play it. Um, <laughs> I, I hope you guys are excited too. <laughs> uh, I recorded this. Uh, I originally recorded this drawing live, um, not not live per se, but like I recorded my voice over doing the drawing, and I realized just how boring I was because <laughs> there's just so there's just really long segments where I just sort of just, just go silent and get I can't multitask for the life of me. Uh, so I just decided to go with the. Uh, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. I'm trying out a lot of texts. This one I think actually worked because it fit like the 1920s sort of style of it. But yeah. We're going to be playing the the introduction, the like the the starting rules. What, what am I trying to say? It's the starting adventure for Call of Cthulhu Seventh Edition. For the quick start rules, there is a scenario called the Haunting, and it's sort of like the Call of Cthulhu version of the Mines of Fendelver for D and D, wherein it's just so common, and a lot of people have. Heard, I, I mean, I imagine. A lot of people have heard about it at some point or another have played it. it it's just a very common and a really uh, good scenario for people looking to get into Call of Cthulhu. The rules aren't so, you know, crazy. <laughs> and if I'm going to be homebrewing a game any anytime soon using the system of Call of Cthulhu, then it's a really good place to start. As for the project date, I don't expect to have it come out in the next handful of months, I think. It's it's going to be a long while. Um, a lot of production is going into it. First, I want to make I want to make this so when this video comes out, then I want to get into the actual writing phase of the whole game. I want to be able to have all the scenario uh, written down uh, bit by bit. Then I want to be able to also do maps i want to have maps so the players can actually explore different locations um if you didn't know one of the things i really love about call of cthulhu is that it's i mean most tabletop role-playing games are but this one's more player driven than most things it's a mystery and the players are supposed to walk around and uh, explore locations and find things sort of on their own and using player intuition to solve mysteries and find clues and stuff. I I'm looking forward to playing it, and uh, I want to have character art drawn. I'll probably do the pictures for those as well. Uh, once all the writing's finished up, I'll probably actually be doing a session zero streamed onto YouTube or perhaps Twitch. Uh, that'll be my very first stream ever. <laughs> So it'll the, the session zero isn't going to be just about uh, teaching the players how to create characters, create backgrounds, just go through that process, learning the rules. But it's also going to help me. It's also going to help me figure out 
how to stream and when we actually do end up playing the game and if we end up doing anything in the future like that it'll help you know look nicer i think uh, it's definitely practice that i need um and stuff that i definitely think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with um it should be a fun story i have some pretty great players lined up though i'm i'm still looking it's it's this whole idea is in the really, really early stages. The The haunting scenario is a, definitely a shorter game. It's probably, I think it's probably intended as like a one shot sort of thing. Um, although I'm going to also have some sort of tricks up my sleeve, write it in a way that's more unique to my play style. Also involving some characters that aren't in the scenario and just flesh it out a little bit more so it's a more well-rounded story and not just a blank slate here go do this do that and a lot less improv on my part and there's more to see and more to do more characters to interact with that sort of thing in the next couple months you should see me doing a lot more art videos i'll be doing backgrounds probably and then once we do the session zero i'll also be doing character art for them in the next in the following weeks uh before we actually start the live play it kind of bums though considering my day job and considering everything going on in my life it's really difficult it's extremely difficult to balance everything on a single platter at the moment <laughs> i have a I, I have a minimum of having at least at least two videos per week uh, I try to record a video that has to do with one of my main sort of series being uh, The Quarry or uh, I just started The Plague Tale. That's that's something that I'll be doing, but also Minecraft here and there. And I also want to do like a side video every week, uh, that being like a random horror game or just something random in general. And I do have lots of games lined up for those. It's really difficult when I have to dedicate so much of my free time uh, and so little of it that I actually have into doing this game, which I think you're going to love. And I think it's going to pay out really well. Um, <laughs> for, for for your reference, I'm not... Okay, back to the drawing. I'm not a professional by any means, so please don't murder me. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be... If you zoom out far enough, you shouldn't see the, the horrible ness of what's happening uh, i also realize i can't multitask for the life of me because then i just get sidetracked and i lose my train of thought and i just get super focused into what the actual video and drawing is so that's if you hear me like switching from idea to idea that's why <laughs> i think you guys are going to enjoy listening to me and my friends just rattle on uh, solve a mystery and it's going to be unique enough to where people who have played the game will won't be able to recognize so much and there'll be a surprise or two along the way still expect the odd video that happens i'm gonna actually try and finish up the the plague tale game as as fast as possible put out those videos first and then i'll probably stick to the quarry try to get that finished up and then once that's done, I'll probably just dedicate my time to doing the random odd, you know, video game like Minecraft or any random horror game, stuff like that. Then once Call of Cthulhu is finished up, then I'll have a lot more time to actually work on other projects too. I have toyed with the idea of doing a radio drama before uh, with my last art video with a creeper one that I did for my Halloween sort of special. I actually did a very... I cut it, but I did a beginning segment where it was like a starting... How do I explain it? It was like a story almost that I told and I had put in sound effects and pictures in it. And I cut it because it really didn't have too much to do with the drawing. And it was just kind of a lot more editing and I had a deadline that I, I almost missed. But I, I'm glad I got it. So something like that. I don't know if I'll ever put it out. Yeah, something like that I think would be fun doing dramas and stuff i think that'll be exciting uh bettering my own voice doing voice practices I, I don't know what it's called vocal work i also have a few channel ideas just to improve i guess the quality i want to be able to have like i don't want to say like an intro <laughs> i i have the intro like howdy folks but uh 
at this point, I think I'm done talking about the Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> the Call of Cthulhu game. It's going to come out in a couple months. You guys are going to like it. I, I promise. It's A lot of work is going to go into it. And I, I promise you guys won't be disappointed. But now on to other things. The chat and draw is just a lot about just random ramblings of what I have on my mind. So I think I'm just going to talk. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to talk. But yeah, I have a few channel ideas. It's going to be something like... Um, I definitely want music, but nothing over the top. You, you know the type of YouTubers who just have the Welcome to Raiders Random Explosions. You know, something something over over the top and crazy like that. It's not really my style. And I just think it's really way overdone. Also, I want to be able to have like a like an end screen and stuff like that just to just to have a better sort of quality and just so it's not boring like in and out sort of video experience that I think you guys might appreciate a little bit more. That's that's really all I had to say. Um, I'll be promoting the Call of Cthulhu game every now and then in some of my videos just to build up an audience for when it actually happens. And for the few of you who actually like my absolute nonsense ramblings and videos and stuff, uh, tell your friends. I think it's going to be a fun event. I don't have any sort of date for it yet, uh, though I imagine that'll come later when production's just almost finished and i'll probably have a day ready for you guys uh here within the next couple weeks maybe hopefully when the writing's finished up and after our session zero which you guys will be able to watch uh i think yeah i think that's all i had to say um thanks guys for watching and have a good one folks